decided for the debate is whether India should have one nation, one election or not. So what if, what if, if I say those who are preparing for competitive examination or the school examination, college examination and examination is conducted only once a year, the performance of a student would be better if an examination is conducted once in a year or twice or thrice in a year. In which state the performance of the candidate academically grooms up, whether it is one year, once in a year or more than once in a year. More more than than once in a year. So if more than once in a year, it means that students are very much tune up with their academic curriculum. Likewise in democracy, if election is conducted in short interval of time, it means that politicians who are making the rule process of ours, they must be in touch with the people, demand of the people. Because actually demand, there are various types of demands. Some are short term demand, some are long term demand. So if you are going to conduct election after five years, so what about the demands which are created in a short term, short period of time? <coughs> Let's assume India is, a, India is a country of agrarian economy, where most of the people are engaged in agriculture. Even seasonally, many of the farmers are not getting benefits of the price whatsoever the crops they cultivate. In that respect, they pressurize the government. And in the views of the coming elections, even many of the good policies are being introduced. Is yes, it is yes or no? Yes, yes. Sir. So if the answer is yes, it means that even election in short interval of time will going to give you correct benefit. Whereas if it is going to be conducted in five years, either in state or center, directly it affects the basic demand of the people. Because actually, for the shorter period of demand, or the shorter demand, even the state or center will not focus on that. And actually in democracy, demand is the representation. The representation is the government. And governance directly comes through the need of the people. And two democracies, to the people, for the people, by, 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 by the people. But unfortunately, if it is going to be conducted after five years, it becomes T O O to the people, B U Y by the people, F A R for the people. So in that respect, if we focus on one nation, one election, then whether it would be appreciable for democracy or you have some different views. On that point, we are going to talk in the debate format. So I appreciate the participation of leadership first, and Hassan is going to speak first. Then after the team leader. Anurod Mangalam and then Satya. You people are allotted 30 seconds to participate. And after that, I'll talk to you all. Yeah? Yes, sir. You please start. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. So as uh, one nation, one election, the major benefit of it is that it would uh, it would reduce the finances of the government, and that finances can be used for developmental purpose. As when we had uh, this uh, when we had this setup for the first time in 1952, then the political parties that participated in the election was around uh, was around uh, 53, and the politicians were around 800, and the uh, total budget incurred was around 11 crore only. And in the year 2019, the same scenario happened, and uh, the election budget was around 60 crores. Uh, 60,000 crores, so which shows that there is a huge uh, huge gap in this particular thing. So if you are going to have one nation, one election, that's the point is to be said. said that 8 crore and 60 crore, it is a huge gap. Maybe possible that a few amount can be misled or some errors can happen in that, but actually differences are made. And on that basis, if you perceive that, if the differences of the monetary or amount which can be utilized for the development of country, and we are investing only on the election, then it is very crucial to talk one nation, one election. Okay, that is a correct point you initiated. Let's speak to Anurod. Good evening, sir. So elections are so fundamental for any democracy that simply a democracy cannot be conceived without election. So in Article 324 of Indian Constitution, we have provisions for election and election commission related after. So accordingly, one nation, one election is not a new term. It has been in action and in discussion for long. But here, the economic benefits, the time saving, because that will give us, because time is gold at present instance. And, and the public representatives, after gaining time, will have time to function in public life for the welfare of the people. So one nation in one election will be giving multiple other benefits. It will be controlling black money, and there are multiple other benefits as well. So I believe one nation, one election is need of the hour and is the right direction. Okay. 
So for some extent, what I feel that even the top batches are sailing in the same boat. So let me go against the topic or even against the notion. I don't find, listen, it is not my observation, just I'm going to share my points in respect of uh, the leaders only. So in my views, actually we know that we are under different rules under the country. There are certain rules which are framed by the center. There are certain rules which are framed by the state. So it means that people of the country face dual rule. Clear? We are having diarchy. In that type of system, if our selection is different at the center, and even the taste is different at the state, so how is it possible that we are going to conduct one election and we can choose different government? Even it is not possible. Because those who are going to contest their election for the center, they may utilize larger budget, whereas those which are contesting for the state election, the chances are more that they are the regional parties and even they don't have the budget according to the central budget. So in that respect, they will not project their ideology. And one nation, one election may geo-paradise the interest of the people for the local level. Sir. Okay, no problem. So actually it is a debate round and you people were sailing in the same boat. So that I stated. <coughs> you are correct. Yes. Good evening, sir. Yes. As we know that election is the backbone of democracy. So bringing all type of elections under the same under the umbrella, like Rajya Sabha election, Lok Sabha election and local elections, then definitely it will going to going to have a good eff effect on the government administration as we as we know that while having the elections we are going through the one of the rules which is known as Achar Sahita which is to be implemented at the time of election then having different elections at a different time will definitely hamper the administration work and such type of thing but implementing one nation one election it will definitely save the time and also also the administrative works will be going smoothly actually code of conduct or Achar Sahita may save the time but actually when we talk about democracy it means that representation of the people at the center or as well as at the state level actually they do not bother about the time frame they bother about the promises that their politician made for the people and if we conduct election after five years the chances would be high that the politicians may enjoy or may under the trap of their political honeymoon and they may forget the regional or local issues and before elections only they may proceed all the development work as we are witnessing before elections that many of the politicians issued many of the job prospectives, employment related issues and decreasing the prices of important essential commodities but it is because before elections only and let's assume if elections are going to be conducted after five years it means that people of the country may be in the trap of adverse condition for whole five years and before only elections they may get the lollipop of elections related issues so actually it is not a true sense of democracy rather what i appeal you that elections should be conducted even after two or three years only so that the promises that the politicians made political parties made may be in the mindset of the people and people may take their own their own share in the rule of the government and so that it reflects the true democracy Okay, now we are going to talk to the leaders, uh, members of You people were appreciated. <laughs> Clear? Now let us talk to the members of Let's, you participate. Chari, bethe, bethe, aapko participate. But, uh, sir, as, as far as the one and one nation is concerned, sir, uh, its major disorder, this advantage part is that the, it, it is going beyond, beyond the you know, federalism, which is the basic part of our constitution. And because, uh, it, um, because in what we have seen that the uh, the state should be given autonomy uh, to their state elections. But uh, what we have seen in uh, it, it is implemented, so the state have their no have their right to whether they are, they are going to conduct or not. And the other part is that sir, if the if the central government get collapsed in the center, then what happens with the uh, what happens with the whole country? Uh, then the whole election will be uh, again elected. I don't think that it is a matter of concern because states are having their own uh, ruling government and center has its own ruling government. For that, even Home Ministry and Law Commission, both different rec uh, recommendations are submitted to the President Chair and even it is very well defined. So I don't want to get in the trap of it. So go to the next uh, speaker. Yes, you please. Good evening, sir. One nation, one election is very important for any country because uh, if election comes, then we can say that means democracy. For the people, by the people and to the people. As we know that one nation, one election can reduce the teachers, reduce, reduce the teachers' stress, colleges and uh, 
as schools also because as we know that if election is again uh, happened again and again then we can say that our schools and our colleges are also involved in that and uh, if we, if you talk about the development of our nation then ultimately we can say that uh, if governments are if government involving that they can say that uh, our development of our nation is also somehow hampered hampered it is very obvious yes next yes so as we know that uh, EVM machines are also there, sir. Uh, in disadvantaged part, we can also say that uh, we can also state that if EVM machines are there, then uh, the use of EVM machines, if the one nation one election will be implemented, then the use of EVM machines will be less. Okay. I mean to say, technology is also going to be affected because many resources are going to be utilized. Okay. Let's. Sir, in my point of view, one nation and one election should be. Uh, implemented as we know that uh, in our country as we are in a developing phase so in a developing phase uh, as we know that, that in the conducting of election there is there is a need of lots of money and uh, uh, as we know that in uh, elections uh, the money is needed and if the one nation and one election will be implemented the frequency of the election will be decreased and at that time uh, the money will be invested in uh, some other sector for the development of our country okay that's good anybody else yes I give you opportunity to teach and Sir, in my view, one nation, one election shouldn't be conducted. As we know that, firstly, it was practiced in 1952. But uh, in compared to that, the population of our country is, is on a much larger scale. So the controlling of masses will be much harder for the paramilitary and military. Okay. So let me ramify the thought. Actually, the gap between state and central election, it is not because of the population, rather, it is the not performing government and because of uh, short tenure period of the state government as well as the central government. And because of that, that unfamiliarity or dissimilarity occurs. <coughs> Such as, if the gov if government is chosen for five years and in between the government falls or lose the confidence, so it, it may run for two and a half or three years only. After that, when election is conducted, so the, gov the first duration is two years and the next duration is of five years. So that dissimilarity occurs and because of that, we are conducting elections in different phases. Otherwise, initially, we were empowered to conduct elections either in state or center at the same time. Okay, anybody, yes. Good evening, sir. One is on one year, sir, is not, it should not be implemented at the right time in our country because we know that the literacy rate of our country is below the international literacy rate. So one, one, when one, one nation, one election should be implemented, then people are confused about the, there are so many political parties, so people are confused and vote are not should be appropriate for the party. Okay. Yes. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, uh, one nation, one nation should not, not be implemented because uh, it is killing our, our democracy. Because more, more election, more uh, democracy, no, no election, no, no, no democracy, less, less election, less democracy. And one nation, one election stated that uh, uh, conducting one time election after five years. So it is not good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so is it pros and cons or they are sitting without any support? They are sitting group wise. Sir, if it is the one nation, one nation will be there, then the people will participate eagerly, with eagerness. But uh, sir, sir, there are also the host that will be stopped. Uh, that in one in election, regular election have been seen that there are multiple host settings in the elections uh, have been seen. But uh, sir, it also uh, cost effective also that uh, it, uh, a report uh, which is uh, published by the election commission that uh, if we go through the uh, regular election that if it cost uh, 10 rupees uh, per vote per year. Uh, but if we uh, conduct one election, one election, then it will uh, cut the 5 rupees and it will uh, cost 5 rupees per vote per year. Okay. You have collected correct data. Yes. Good evening, sir. According to my notion, one nation, one election should be implemented because if we implement one nation, one election, then it is going to <coughs> increase the voters turnout because in our country, most of the people are not living at their own world. They are just living in another state or other city. So if we implement the one nation, one election, they can come their own to cast the vote one time. And if Good evening, sir. As, as the one next nation, one election is concerned, uh, 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 firstly, I will uh, I, I would like to say that in, in the first general election in 1952, uh, it, it was also practiced for the first time. And after that, in 1960, uh, after then the Lok Sabha dissolved. Uh, for, for that purpose, uh, the rules were changed. And in the present scenario, uh, we know that uh, India is a diverse culture, and uh, each and every state and uh, has a uh, different culture and religion. So, if we conduct one nation, one election at the same time, uh, this uh, this is this is somehow hampered the uh, and compromise the states. Okay. So those who didn't speak.